G'day, this is a look at the 2018 with Laura Keats in the background having a bit of a squabble. 2018 camper, so it does have alloy wheels to suit a uh, 200 series. It's got disc brakes, let's just have a look. We've got airbag suspension and it's got some new sash um, shockies under there as well. So airbag suspension, that all looks pretty good. Tires in good nick. It's got two water tanks, I can tell because there's two fillers. Being a platinum, it's also got the extra um, storage for pegs and ropes. Now in the kitchen here, it's gonna have a water filter, extra leg and fire extinguisher. Now when I do this guy, there's two little catches and I've got my big pull out table there. It's got the nice oval handles and with the new big kitchen, it's got nice big, big drawers. Um, pole carrier here, upright fridge. So it's got an 85 liter upright fridge. Sound bar, which is okay for a little bit of music on the fly. And then in here, we've got our big um, split pantry kitchen. So doing this all one-handed. Um, so we've got the Sovereign barbecue. So it's stainless steel barbecue. Split pantry means I can just push that back, access my big pot storage, other storage there. Got a walk burner, so click start, great for pasta, everything there. Does have power points up to here as well. Not 100% sure if that's connected to the inverter or just at a campsite or just at mains. We'll confirm that. We've got a touch screen here, it's a Symarine. We can use the app, um, two water, oops, let's get closer. Two water tanks there showing on the app. Um, we can see our temperature there, so the fridge is not on, but we have one shock absorber that's not working. So the shock absorber temperature not working on one of them. Um, the other one is 22 degrees here outside in Queensland. Diesel hot water, diesel room heater, USBs, straps. It's got a hand pump here as well. Let's just have a quick look. There's a hand pump um, for pumping out of our front tank. It's got the 80 watt solar panel on there and our air conditioner setup. So let's just have a quick look through the canvas here. So a bit of red dirt and marks in there. So you can see some of that. That just looks like some sap um, and some dirt and red marks. The body canvas looks pretty good. We'll go around the other side here. Um, but in the quick awning, you can see that it's seen a little bit there, just storage. That's probably storing. You can see the black rub marks um, and the quick awning has uh, been left on quite a bit. So it's rubbed quite a bit around this pole here and a couple little patches for a couple little holes there. Um, up here, this little pocket wants that. So if I was making this one tidy, I'd look at maybe a new quick awning on this, um, but this one definitely will work really well. And with a quick awning, it is really good because I can just pull this out and I get a full, full view set up um, there. I believe it does have um, the newer zipper. So because the zipper is one full length at the end, you can put the Bedouin extension on. So this one has a bit of canvas. I'm not sure how much. Um, looking through the rest of the body canvas, it does look pretty good. We get rips here. So this is rips, no rips in this one. All looking pretty good through the body. Inside is looking pretty good, right? So no major marks or anything through there, especially up here above the bed, because that's where they tend to leave stuff on the bed that scratches. Inner spring mattress, so it's firm, but that. Um, it's got the air con or the advanced tent at the front. And when you look up here, you can see that um, you can just zip this together. So take this off, zip it back here and get your normal tent look there. So air con heating and cooling using a generator or campsite power. All looks good. And on this side has an all weather window. So this looks like in good nick. It's got springs out all weather. So we can have this window open in the rain. Just having a quick look through that. All other than some dirt, you can see maybe some dirt is got up through there around the seals. Um, and that's just because that's right on the edge. Um, so when you fold it up, the, um, the canvas itself stays reasonably clean, but um, that's right where the seal is if you ever get any dew or things through there. So you see a little bit of red dirt and sometimes that's packing too much on the bed, which just doesn't let the seals come all the way down. On this front section here, again, like it is, just a bit of sap or bird poo, um, but that's looking all right. 
through here is all right. Tropical roof looks all right. Like a few marks in that on it. That's a replaceable one, right? You can see a little bit of red dirt. Overall, no rips in it. And the canvas underneath is nice, clean. No, no mold or anything like that. The back door is clean. Looking all right, hey? So mostly it's just this tropical roof. I mean, sorry, mostly it's just the, these few patches here and a little bit, and this wear here is just showing around the awning, which can be replaced. Just around here, it's had scratched, so it's been closed a couple times with its latches closed. So um, uh, just, just giving that a bit of a sand back and a touch up of um, the silver paint or a zinc rust paint there. That was a bit of a look at the canvas and overall, but up here at the front, good jockey wheel. Um, really like the arc jockey wheel. Electric over hydraulic brakes, treg hitch, and we can upgrade you to a DO35 hitch or uh, um, another hitch there. So there's a spare airbag for it as well. Onboard compressor, generator shelf, jerry can oh this would have been a shelf for a toilet at some stage so there's a shelf where you can mount a toilet some power for the toilet quick look on this side it does have the visi flow on this side so this is what we call our outside shower it goes into our shower ensuite and our inside or input of water at a caravan park or pumping from a bucket or a creek um, again we've got the diesel exhaust for our diesel system we've got some latches under here for our um two tanks so sucking from either tank and a bit of a look for storage up there we'll open this guy up on this side is the air con so it needs to be open to run this you can see that it's got holes through the roof there's your cables it's got mounts in here and it probably has a drain plug although the drain plug runs off the front um so there's an anderson plug and there'll be a drain plug in there as well um, but it does because it has an upright fridge it has this big pantry here this is called the driver's side gull wing. The air con unit on this side with some tie downs here and also a circuit breaker turn on and off. It does have an electric hot water system. So it has a little electric um, instant for tea and coffee, but we don't find that working very well. It's just drawing too much power and the unit is tucked in there, that white unit there. Um, so that might be a, a something you remove or uh, or try and fix. Um, it has a diesel for the diesel hot water. We have an onboard compressor, so we can then turn this on and we can level the camper left and right. You can see the two needles working there. And off switch. We can either pump it up through these fittings if, we, if the compressor is not working or we can pump it up uh, using this onboard compressor and our holding tank. Aircon has to be open for this to work. I've now undone the clips so we do have um, storage out here. Easy. This is great bathroom storage if we're doing it there. And then big pull out large pantry storage in through there. So again, I'll pull all the way out. It does have new looking slides on this side as well. Um, so new slides, I think. And then we've got one for a freezer or extra compartment and our hot water unit in there, okay? So all the way till it clicks, locks out, and then away. So that was a last look here at the 2018 with air conditioning camper.